Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on Palace Skateboards' Winter 2022 Lookbook. Well, it's that time of the week, guys, because <laughs> we just did a top five video covering my top five favorite pieces of Palace's Autumn 2022 collection. We've now got to start talking about the new season that is going to be releasing this week, which is the Winter 2022 collection. Uh, what we'll do in today's video is we'll cover the release details for week one of the Winter 2022 collection. We'll cover my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook. Um, and yeah, I'll just give you my thoughts and opinions on the styling and the pieces individually as a whole. Now, how we're going to cover all those details is by using a Hype Beast article. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for week one. Here we are at the Hype Beast article that we're going to be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you guys want to check it out. We'll quickly scroll down to the release details. So, the inaugural release of Palace's Winter 2022 collection is set for both an in-store and online release starting October 7th, which if it's Tuesday the 4th, Wednesday the 5th, th Friday the, Friday the, uh, Thursday the 6th, Friday the 7th, that checks out. 11 a.m. EDT time. So it's 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the UK online store, and it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US online store. I'd also be releasing the day later on Saturday the 8th, in store and online for, China, uh, for Japan, 8 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, uh, as I just mentioned, in store online. Now, it's also getting an official release at Palace underscore skateboards on the WeChat store. 8 a.m., 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time. So you have a lot of different places that you can actually pick up this first week of Palace's winter season. So you can go in-store if you live near any of the physical stores uh, this Friday or Saturday, depending on your region. Uh, or if you're like me, you live very far away or you live in a country that doesn't even have one of the stores. <laughs> Thank you, Australia. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get a Palace store. Um, well then, you can head either to the US or the UK online stores and pick it up on the Friday, October 7th, 11am, depending on which store you go for. It's going to be 11am British Standard Time if you go for the UK one. Uh, it's going to be 11am... Uh, ooh, is it Eastern Standard Time? I think? Eastern Standard Time for the US online store? I think so, off the top of my head. I've struggled to remember which time zone it is for um, the US online store. But yeah, if you guys have any further questions on when, where it's dropping, drop them in that comment section below. But in general, for most of the world, it's releasing on the Friday. For the rest of the world, Japan and China, it's releasing on the Saturday for them. They get a nice little exclusive day there. But now that we've covered everything I could really mention about week one, um, we will also just quite quickly be discussing everything releasing and the further release details, if there is anything else to uh, add to this, uh, when I do a drop list video. So stay tuned for the drop list video where we cover what's releasing in week one. I do also just have to advise that week one, it's always the most inaccurate week because we just, they try and keep it under wraps. But generally the heavy hitting pieces we cover in this lookbook right now some of them will be releasing in week one so if there's a big leather jacket in the first five slides it's probably going to release in the first week <laughs> that's generally how it happens so yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see anyway now that we've covered everything to do with week one let's get into the lookbook and see how this season is shaping up it's a winter season but i'm feeling that there's going to be a lot of jackets a lot of heavier outwear hopefully a lot of knits and hoodies Let's dive in. Let's see if Palace has got us covered for the winter season. To start off with, we get one piece highlighted to us, which is this varsity jacket, this collared varsity jacket. I don't know if this is an Adidas collaborative tee, but it kind of looks like it is with the text in the center there. We've got Palace written on the varsity jacket, big Palace P, Palace written down the sides, 2022, London. 
It's okay. It's uh, there have definitely been better varsity jackets that re have released from Palace. Um, we've got some very baggy blue denim. We've got the varsity coming in another color here. It doesn't look like it's leather. Looking at it, it looks more like of a nylon material, which is a bit of a miss for me. But yeah, it, this varsity jacket just isn't doing too much for me. Next, we've got a I don't even know what to call this. It is a button up. But it's also a knit and it's not really a cardigan. It kind of looks like someone meshed together a knit vest with some sleeves. I, yeah, very odd silhouette here. Um, kind of reminds me of like a, I guess a knit sweater that someone in a bowling alley would rock. It's so many different, I'm getting so many different feelings from it, but not positive things because I'm kind of like, eh, this is kind of wacky. <laughs> uh, we've got some corduroy pants down here. Nothing too crazy. We've got a very utilitarian Cordura jacket featuring two big pockets on the upper chest, two smaller ones on the bottom one, with, I've got to say, a nice little contrasting red collar as well. We've got a nice yellow colored flannel underneath, some nice uh, very dark denim down here, nothing too crazy. We've got this little Japanese, I, I, again, I assume it's Japanese, could be wrong, I'll just go with like this very Asian palace graphic that we've seen in previous seasons. I wasn't too fond of like the cutesy stuff that they did with this graphic and the other graphics, but it sold and people were pretty keen on it, so I could see them bringing it back. Very strange to have it on a zip up hoodie. Does anyone else feel that way? This looks like a pullover hoodie. You got the big graphic here. That's a pullover hoodie graphic. Why it zipped through, no idea. We've got the matching Cordura pants that we saw to the jacket just before. I'm sure the uh, fit all together would look kind of crazy. Uh, and we've got a little duck uh, cap as well up the top. We've got a denim jacket silhouette. Looks kind of like a type two, maybe a type three. But instead it's done with like a polyester, um, that's probably the best way to just put it, like a polyester, like a plastic like um, material, which could keep you nice and warm because it'd be like those liners of those like military jackets and stuff like that like it would keep you quite warm i know a lot of brands like undercover uses them for the inner linings of a lot of trench coats and stuff like it will keep you warm it's just crazy to see it in that type of silhouette if there's no huge back graphic on it and it's just like this i could kind of get around it it's kind of a cool idea to have this type of silhouette with this material it's interesting we've got those pants making another showcase there We've got a jersey, which says Palace Blunt. I actually don't mind the graphics on it. I don't mind the colors of this one here. It's okay. We've got a matching varsity cap to the jacket that we saw before with the same patches on it. Uh, some Just some simple black pants there. Got London 2022 written on the back. It looks like these black pants feature that Snickers logo that I always keep saying is making an appearance. Yeah, crazy. It's making another appearance in another season. They've really been reusing that graphic. <laughs> uh, I think the, what was it? Was it a crew neck that we first saw it on? I think the crew neck that they did it on first was kind of like its peak. I feel like they've, they've just gone downhill from there. Well, wow, that's crazy. We've got some what looks to be like double knees or something. Um, it looks like there's another panel over the knee. Kind of hard to call it a double knee. I think it's the stitching that's kind of throwing me off. And then we've got a matching jacket to it. Um, crazy jacket silhouette. You have pockets that are coming in uh, horizontally and then you've got vertical pockets as well and more pockets up here. It's a nice color of the denim though. I don't mind that one too much. The orange uh, stitching, contrast stitching is a fun time. The cap's a bit too much for me. It looks to be a hoodie underneath uh, that has a maybe a zip as well. So it could be a black version of that cutesy hoodie that we saw before. Palace built with Kevlar. Damn, that's a Kevlar piece. Wow, okay. That's gonna be very, very durable. That's why the material looked a little bit off me. I was like, it looks like denim. It looks like some really tough denim. Nah, Kevlar, Jesus. Palace has gone wild with that one. I like how the logo and everything though is incorporated well into the jacket and the colors all match. It looks cool, it looks cool. Eh, looks like some glitter polo. I'm not feeling that. Looks like we're getting a grey version of those Cordura pants we saw. Getting a vest version maybe of the Cordura jacket or maybe it's like you can unzip the arms or something. It kind of looks like the same fit as before with the yellow flannel so maybe the arms can be unzipped. 
Uh, looks like we just got a little forest beanie there. Nothing like too, at the moment, at 12 slides in, nothing that's really gripped me. Nothing that's got me going, wow, crazy. Yeah, again. Eh, it's okay. Okay, so we've seen this type of silhouette done before. They've done it on a couple crew necks, and they even re-released the crew neck in a couple different colors a couple seasons later. We've got this patchwork design. This time it's done with different materials uh, for a knit kind of take on it. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's nothing too crazy. It would have actually looked nicer without the palace logo there and just been like a patchwork kind of knit. I like the different textures and the different, um, I guess, directions these textures are heading and everything, but yeah, it's it's not it's not doing anything too crazy for me. Um, we've got the matching sweatpants to the hoodie that we saw before with the little um, like bunny Asian characters there. We've got a simple little hoodie here. I don't mind this one. Nothing too wild though. We got Polartec uh, pants down here, cargo pants. We got zips on the knees, so pockets on the knees, pockets up the top here. Nice color. I could see a lot of people getting around that. There's probably going to be a matching jacket as well. Fun little camo jacket. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, it's okay. We've got a Woodland camo tee. Look at those Cordura pants making the like 50th appearance again. Just a simple retro looking crew neck with a hat uh, with, uh, yeah, I hate those. I hate the sides. Some okay pants. Okay, that's kind of fun. Like a corduroy overshirt with excessive amounts of pockets on it. It could be a nice little piece to throw over. We've got a Palace P crew neck. Um, I <clears throat> like that silhouette. Uh, Ralph Lauren does a lot of it because they like like their like preppy private school look. Um, but yeah, I think it could have done without the Palace logo at the top and just been a nice P there. Oh well, nothing too crazy. We've got some jeans there. We got the full Cordura jacket, so this is, or the full Cordura set, so this was the, this is the pink version of the green uh, pants that we saw just before, and the matching jacket that correlates with it. I like this design here, how there's one zip to slightly bring it down, and then you can unzip it completely. It's not um, symmetrical, it's asymmetrical, it's cool. That's a cool way of handling it, I haven't seen something like that before. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna look weird if you zip it down to the end of this one but then only zip it down to there I, that's gonna look wacky but I can see people doing it it's okay it's nothing nothing too wild oh that's a nice long sleeve is it a long sleeve I don't, like it maybe think it looks like a crew neck but I don't see the crew neck bottom to it so maybe it's a long sleeve it's a nice little piece there that's a very skater looking outfit here just a zip up hoodie very washed out jeans Looks like we've got a hoodie version of the uh, Polartec pieces we saw before with those green pants making an appearance again with Lucian very, very shaved up there. Nice. We've got, this is an interesting take, we've got like the NASCAR excessive logos look but done on a denim overshirt instead of like a jacket like it's traditionally done on. It's not doing anything for me at the moment. We got a plaid cap. That's actually quite a nice looking cap up there. Gore-Tex as well. You can see, I think it's the Gore-Tex logo off to the side there. Nice looking cap up there. Palace London on the back, Pro Team. Very, very car racing inspired with that one. Ho like horsepower written across the collar. It's okay. It's all right. Damn, that looks cozy. Very uh, fleecy jacket here. Not a bad piece. Don't know how I feel about the camo ski mask. Full corduroy pants. Yeah, I, 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 this jacket's nice. I, this jacket's quite nice. We've got a red jacket here. Uh, I like the silhouette of it. I like the excessive pockets, everything like that. It's actually a cool photo as well. Yeah, nice colors, very washed out. Very washed out. It doesn't look like a very deep red. It looks like it's been through the wash many, many times. Ugh. Got this zip up uh, long sleeve uh, like rugby top with a palace all over monogram on it. You can miss me with that. <laughs> uh, and then we got the P-Duck, P-Duck Denim. Yeah. They went crazy on that. They put a few too many P-Ducks on there. We could have kept it a little bit more minimum. Minimal, it's, it's you know, it's okay. Um, we just got a little quarter zip, not even a half zip. It's like a three quarter, oh, sorry, a third or a quarter zip there. We got this all over knit, 
which is alright. And we got the Palace uh, Rubber Duck Cap making an appearance again. Okay, I don't mind this hoodie. Palace with then the quilted hood design that's uh, got a uh, drawstring there. That's okay. Got another photo of the Politech jacket and pants, the Politech uh, hoodie and pants, and the, uh, yeah, the zip up hoodie again. I gotta say, this, yeah, okay, well, now that we've completed it, we've, we've gone through the whole lookbook. I'm not too blown away by this at all. I'm, yeah, I, it all felt very average to me. Um, there are a couple cool pieces here and there, but nothing that nothing that really blew me away. Nothing that I was like, yo, Palace on the come up for the winter season. It's, yeah. I mean, you know, like the Kevlar pieces were cool. I didn't mind this polyester take on a denim jacket. That was fun. I always like, you know, crazy materials being used on silhouettes that aren't, you know, normally done in this material. It's always fun seeing that. Um, but... Yeah, lots of safe pieces, lots of okay pieces. Nothing that really, yeah, took me by surprise. Nothing that was like, wow, that's insane. Just like, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, look, if you're into like gold core or pieces that are more utilitarian like this, where you just got like pockets on pockets, you got heaps of panels everywhere. I, I could definitely see this winter lookbook being more appealing to you. But looking at this for me, there's nothing that I'm really scrambling to look at from this lookbook. Um, even the Varsity jacket, I'm kind of like, okay. Uh, yeah, I still prefer the Varsity jacket from last season, the autumn season. One of my favorite pieces that season. So yeah, interesting that Palace uh, went this route. Is Okay, to confirm, is that detachable? It kind of looks like those, uh, th those sleeves are detachable. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's it guys, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this winter 2022 lookbook. For me, yeah, I'm, I'm quite comfortable uh, skipping most of what I've seen in this lookbook. Uh, nothing that I'm going too crazy for, but maybe you feel very differently, maybe you really like a lot of these pieces, maybe they really fit your aesthetic more than, you know, they fit mine. That's totally fair. Those are also very much painter pants. Double need painter pants. Look, it's got the painter. Yeah, it, it's got to be. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, would love to hear your takes on it, your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. For me, this is a very average looking lookbook for me. There's nothing too crazy here. Uh, yeah. But I'd love to hear your take down in that comment section below. Well, that's all there is really to cover, guys. Uh, we covered the release details for week one we are getting week one on october 7th the friday or if you live in japan and china the 8th uh we covered the lookbook it was a i was like going in with high hopes winter season that's my favorite season rocking a bunch of layers i was ready for nice jackets nice leather jackets palace doesn't generally do trench coats but you know i, I was willing to wait for it see if it was going to happen um some nice hoodies knits crewnecks just any outwear but yeah there wasn't yeah it kind of just wasn't hitting for me just wasn't doing anything for me um maybe there will be something in the range the range for the winter season has released so we can see everything that's releasing in the seasonal catalog not the collaborative catalog because we don't know what collabs are coming until obviously you know palace announces them but yeah um some very safe pieces, you know, some okay pieces here and there, but yeah, I don't know. No big heavy hitting pieces that made me think, wow, the winter season. I don't know. Kind of expecting more. It is what it is, I suppose, but maybe you feel very differently about that. You know, we've covered everything to do with the first week, the lookbook and all that. I'd love to have that conversation with you guys in the comment section below. You know, maybe you think it's really good. Maybe you really like, um, all the gore, uh, the, all the utilitarian pieces. Maybe really like the hoodies that were showcased. Maybe really like the pants. Uh, I'd love to hear any thoughts and opinions on the lookbook down in that comment section below. 
And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace seasons, releases, and collabs, you just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, this month we're trying to aim for the subscriber milestone of 3,455 subscribers before the end of the month. Um, we're like one sub off. We're very, very close. <laughs> I, I hope with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3455 five before the end of the month. But that's everything I really got to say about this lookbook, guys. I would have liked to talk about it a little bit more, but there wasn't any pieces that, um, yeah, that really gripped me. That really took me by surprise. Um, so pretty easy, pretty breezy uh, to just go over it, but I don't know, maybe, the, as I said, the range might have more in it, and then when we actually get to cover it in the weekly drops, there'll be something there for me. Um, stay tuned for that as well. The drop list video will be coming soon, as soon as we have the release details for week one. Um, I'll get onto that as soon as possible, guys. But uh, yeah, that is the lookbook for Palace's winter 2022 season, guys. So until the next Palace video, until the next drop list video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, I'll catch you later.